Hi everybody, this is Zelda here. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button below twice. Um, one for subscribe, the next for updates. So you'll be notified when I do a new video. Uh, today I wanted to just talk about some random stuff that I have experienced. Because I know I went out of my wall and I have not... I uh, explained really fully myself why I went AWOL. Well, guys, first of all, um, before going to that, definitely leave a comment below. I will respond. If you will donate, I will give you a shout out. Um, so, you know, give if it inspires you. I always say donate where it inspires you, where you get your food from. Okay, so anyway, last night I posted a video on Instagram and I actually sent it to Real Talk Kim. You know, she's the one that really inspires me. And I also mentioned her book in the video as well. Well, I told her, and this is, this is what the video was. Um, yesterday I was in the bed and I was thinking on... Um, I was dealing with a resident yesterday, you know, I think July she lost her son. She lost a two-year-old son. He drowned in a pool. And my heart goes out to her, and it does. But at the same time, you know, I went above and beyond, even got in trouble to get her transferred to another low-income unit. Mind you, she's in this beautiful apartment that's only costing her $990 and when she asked me how much she would be paying per month I told her $990 and she was pissed mind you if I was paying $990 for a brand new apartment in California especially Orange County I would be ecstatic if I was saving money you know guys I I'm going to tell you an example how I was ecstatic on saving money on my internet bill. So, guys, we have Google Fiber. Oh, my God, Google Fiber. They introduced Google Fiber to my complex, and it was like 1,000 megabits per second for 70 bucks. And I'm like, what? Oh, snap. Yeah, I said, host 10 devices. I'm like, man, I'm going to have devices on my freaking um uh, on the Wi-Fi just because, you know? And I was like, my $110 versus $70. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm going to save 40 bucks a month on my internet, man. I am like so ecstatic. I was freaking excited. They had the launch. Guys, I was tired. I was exhausted. But I went to the launch. I have, I have forgot to um, order my box. So I told them to deliver it. And then when I got to the launch, I was like, can I get my box today? He was like, yeah. Man, I was excited. I was ready to kick Cox Communications to the curb, okay? I was just excited because I was saving $40 a month. If I could save $125 a month on my rent, I would consider myself blessed. And she said this was the worst day of her life. And I'm like, wait a minute. I think losing my son would have been the worst day of my life. Don't you think? So I basically said, you know, people, they're so ungrateful. And guys, you know, I have people come to me every day complaining about every little thing. Every little thing. And, you know, I have people that come to me, residents that come to me and ask me to reduce their rent. Mind you, I'm paying twice as much in rent as they are. And I, you know, so going with the chat on Instagram with Real Talk Kim, she was like, why are you so jaded? Maybe God put you in this place for you to, to, to share his love with him. And I'm like, Kim, I'm tired. I have people that come to me that are so ungrateful. And she said, but you're blessed. I said, I know I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed with a beautiful apartment. Guys, I manifested my rent, okay, from paying 
my rent got paid in full. I didn't even have to pay rent this month, but I had to finish off my payments for my bankruptcy as well as the attorney. My rent was paid. And yes, I am blessed. And I, you know, I know I'm blessed, but I'm like, I deal with these people every day. The people that treat you like crap every day. So that's not an easy task to be happy and, and chipper and, and, and compassionate every day. Of course you're going to be jaded. And you know, it's like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm burned out, we're running really lean. So this morning, I, I woke up in the middle of the night like, oh God, I, I'm not done my work. I'm like, I'm thinking about the job. I mean, that's how it's, it's stressing me out. And I said, this, this is not the way God intend us to live, to be stressed out. He says, never be stressed. So, but you know, again, you have to, you know, if you're going to be a diamond, you have to go through the pressure process, you know. You have you, you and also you have to be cut as a diamond to be a diamond. I get that. So anyway, this morning I took off. I took off from work. Um, I had doctor's appointments and I had to go. Yeah, guys, I, I get my food stamps. Yeah, so I had to go to the food stamps office. Oh, so I've never been to this office. The office I dealt with was one you know south of me, and they're very very nice. So. I'm at this office, and so they called my name. I didn't hear my name called. I was like, I kept hearing Butterfield. I'm like, well, where is it come from? So I finally go to the one, and the girl was just rude with me. I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, I got to deal with rude person on my day off, too. So she was rude with me, and I know she probably in the same position that I am. And she's like, oh, this was supposed to be a phone interview. I said, well, I got a letter saying it's in person. I said, I could be at work. You know, so she had this attitude with me and everything. I was like, do you need anything else from me? No, I just got to process it. I'm like, okay. And I walked out. And I was like, God, I'm jaded right now. <laughs> I was like, I'm jaded. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm, I'm jaded right now. But I'm pissed off. I'm like, I just got treated really, really bad. They're going to tell me I'm cut, they're cutting my food stamps. I'm like, okay, I know when you take something away, you're going to replace it with something better. I'm like, okay. So I get this thought in my head. Some says, go to the food pantry. And I was like, go to the food pantry? I'm like, I don't want to go to no damn food pantry. What the fuck? I, I got some food stamps left. So I was like, go to the food pantry today. Guys, I went to this food pantry in my area. I tell you, it was like going to the grocery store. Guys, I got chicken. I mean, nice chicken that you buy at the store. I got chicken. I got fresh produce, corn, green beans. You know, and my thing was, I was really being modest when I was getting stuff. She was like, oh, no, get what you want. Get what you want. I mean, the stuff was coming in fresh, guys. I mean, fresh. And I'm like, oh, my God. I did a week's worth of shopping at this food pantry. I mean, I had hamburger patties. I mean, this is stuff is coming in fresh. It ain't a few days old. This is freaking fresh, direct from the store. And I did not have to pay for it. I'm like hamburger patties, chicken breast, um, uh, marinated chicken breast, um, stuffed pork chops. Uh, I mean, no generic stuff. You know, I mean, I have organic. I got organic vegetables. You know, they usually have these pearl onions, and these onions are really expensive, and I never would buy the pearl onions, but I love them. I got those. I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, I got stuff that I know will cost in the grocery store. Then a woman came to me. She says, do you have a deep fryer? And I was like, no. I said, but I have a big pot that I, you know, cast iron skillet that I, you know, fry seafood. She said, here's these um, tempura shrimp. Can you, do you want these? She gave me four packs of those. I'm like, oh, my God, these things are expensive. I'm like, oh, my God. And they were so nice to me. And I was like, oh my God, this is so refreshing that I can go somewhere that someone is nice to me. I know I probably have lost empathy for people that I have to work with, my residents, on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I see how truly blessed they are. And they don't see it. And they always want more and more and more and more and more. They complain. 
they're not happy, they're not satisfied for what they got. But, I mean, today showed me, I was like, there's actually people out there that can be nice to me. So, later on, I got home and I unpacked everything and um, put stuff away. I mean, I got pizza. I might heat up the pizza tonight. <laughs> I mean, I got a pizza I just put in the oven. Um, but like one of the Wolfgang Puck pizzas from Gelson's. If y'all know what Gelson's is, it's like, it's like an upscale grocery store. So anyway, um, I, uh, so I did that and I kind of relaxed. I had, a, I had an interview today. Mind you, I got stuck in traffic and I was late to the interview. And I was like, oh God, I get there, I'll get there. I was getting frustrated. I was like, you know, I get there and I, I'll get there. You know, I was like, so I get to the door and the door was locked. So the woman comes and opens the door. She was so sweet to me. I was like, oh my God, she introduced herself. She's like, how is traffic? You know, um, I'll tell them why you're delayed. They're still in a meeting right now. Um, breathe and, and get yourself together and you're here, you're here safe. And I was like, oh my God. Wow. So... I'm sitting there and it's like, oh, we're going to do your little disc sheet. And so they took me in the office and I did my little pro disc profile. And one of the ladies come out and was like, well, why was she late? And I was like, mm, okay. And so the woman told her, she's like, well, at least you had to come from your Belinda. That was a lie I told them. I ain't going to lie, I lied. <laughs> and it was like, um, she had to come from a job and she had a surprise visit by her senior VP. So that's the reason why she was delayed. So that couldn't be avoided. And they were like, oh, okay, cool. So they finally pulled me in there and I had an interview with three people. And, you know, they were asking me questions and we were all chatting and we were all over the place. But, I mean, they made me feel so comfortable. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get that job. I probably am. <laughs> I'll let you know if I do. I probably am. You know, I'll, I'm going to put it out there. probably will manifest that job. But it made me feel so good that I was around positive people they were like oh yeah we try to have fun here and I'm like yeah I said we work hard but we have to laugh things off when we do work hard and you know they was like oh we're flexible and I you know I mean we were just talking I mean I think I was there for like an hour and 20 minutes or so but I mean it was like refreshing to be around positive people because I'm around negative people on a day-to-day -day basis and you know, I'm, I'm putting these thoughts out there because, you know, I know there's social workers that deal with negative and, and have this people that have this destitute thought process and this negative thought process. And they deal with them from day to day. And believe me, I get it. I, I, I truly get it. But, you know, I try not to treat everybody the same, but at the same time, I'm not going to let anybody walk over me. And... The people that I deal with, and I'm not saying all people I deal with, but most of the residents I deal with has this false sense of entitlement. And, you know, nobody owes you anything in this world, in this life. Nobody has to give you anything. You know? Nobody has to jump hoops for you. But these people that I deal with on a daily day basis think that. And it makes me so frustrated and makes my job so much difficult. Believe me, if I didn't give a shit, you know, I would probably walk off the job today. But I do give a shit. So, I just wanted to put that out there because I know she, Real Talk Kim was like, you're so jaded, you're so jaded. But she did say, I can't do your job either. I don't think I could do your job. No. It takes a real special person. I said certified crazy. To do my job. But guys, I just want to make a point that, you know, no matter where you are and no matter what's happening in your life, there's somebody that's worse off than you. And, um, you know, there's, there's just people worse off than you. And I think me going to that pantry today kind of reminded me of that. But at the same time, there's people that can really have some compassion for you and, and can be truly nice to you. Um, and 
I haven't had that in a while. I mean, even my own, um, being in my complex, I've had some issues with them. And talking about, they pride themselves on customer service, please. The customer service sucks. <laughs> but um, I want to close out with that. But I, I had to get this off my chest because I was like, man, am I that jaded? And have I lost compassion? Am I that mean and not hardened? And I don't think I am. I think it's more frustration than anything. Um, but, you know, I deal with a lot of ungrateful people. Man, if my rent was $1,000 and $9.90, man, what? I'll be so excited. And I'm in a brand new apartment. Now, my apartment is beautiful, no doubt about it. It's 10 years old, but it's beautiful. It's still pretty young. But if I had a brand new apartment and I'm the first person in my apartment and I'm paying $990, I'm be ecstatic. But she said that was the worst day of her life. I, I, and I just couldn't get over it. Now, mind you, she was going to also buy the patio set that I had for sale. And she lied about that, too. And I was like, you know what, lady? I'm done. I've gotten in trouble over doing stuff for you, going above and beyond, and you're just not satisfied. So... I'm going to leave you guys with that today. You know, just think, you know, there's people worse off than you. God has a reason for your storms and your troubles. Sometimes you may not know what that reason is, but you have to ask God to help you with to understand it. And believe me, I was crying out today. I'm like, God, you need to tell me what you want me to do because I'm about to lose my mind here. So anyway, this is Sona here signing out. Definitely. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, definitely leave a comment below. Um, donate if you will. If I inspire you to donate, I will give you definitely give you a shout out on here. Um, if you donate, if you leave a comment, I will respond um, when time allows because I'm, I'm very, very busy I'm anticipating a job change. So maybe I have a little bit more time uh, when I do a job change because I really need a job change because guys, I am really burned out from what I'm doing right now. Um, but anyway, this is Sona. I'm signing out and uh, see you soon.